morning to all myself dr icha pura hello good morning to all myself dr icha pura today i'll try to share information about structure and function of dna polymerase enzyme involved in dna replication many enzymes and proteins are involved in the process of dna replication as helicase single stranded binding protein primase dna polymerase rnas dna ligase each enzyme has a specific role first we will see dna polymerase in case of prokaryotes in prokaryotes five different types of dp are known all of them have the same basic catalytic activity to add deoxyribonucleotides on to the three ovh end of the single stranded rna primer however they differ in their various roles within the cell and their molecular structure the main enzyme that acts in dna strand formation during replication in escherichia coli is dp3 and is often called as replicase dp3 is much larger than other two common dna polymerases 1 and 2 dp1 is thought to be involved primarily in dna repair it also replaces deoxyribonucleotides to fill the gap gaps after removal of rna primers at the five end of each okajaki fragment on lagging strand the function of dp2 is not very clear dp4 and 5 participate in bypassing dna damage <clears throat> Now this slide shows the structure of DNA polymerase 3 having many subunits of which alpha is the main subunit along with theta and epsilon DP3 has two contrasting properties at one end it remains associated with the template over long stretches to synthesize a continuous complementary strand at the same time it has to move from one nucleotide to other which is probably held by its subunits one of the subunit beta of dp3 appears responsible for keeping it associated with dna template dp3 consists of a single catalytic subunit and at least nine different subunits arranged as four subassemblies first the core polymerase consists of three subunits alpha the polymerase epsilon the 3 to 5 prime 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease and theta the stimulator of 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity second the pi subunit is responsible for dimerization of the core dna polymerase third the sliding clamp comprising two homodimers of the beta subunit which provide the ring structure that is needed for moving ahead of core enzyme on the template fourth five subunits have beta clamp loader function which we this we can see in the diagram this this is the these are the five uh, subunits which help in loading the clamp <clears throat> eukaryotic dna polymerase to date 5 to 15 different dna polymerases have been isolated from eukaryotic cells five of them are designated as alpha beta gamma delta and epsilon polymerase alpha is tightly associated with primase which initiates synthesis of primer at the five end of leading and of each okajaki fragment of the lagging strand it is also involved in adding deoxyribonucleotides on to the three ovh group of rna primer all the dp require some divalent cations as prokaryotic dp dna polymerase it appears that leading strand and most of the fragments of the lagging strand are assembled by dna polymerase delta 
in some organisms dna polymerase gamma replicates mitochondrial dna and dna polymerase beta functions in dna repair dna dna polymerase epsilon binds to the template of lagging strand and synthesize discontinuous okazaki fragments like prokaryotic polymerases all the eukaryotic enzymes elongate dna in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction by addition of nucleotides to a 3 prime ovh group and none of them is able to initiate the synthesis of dna chain without a primer eukaryotic polymerase possesses a 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity which ensures that replication occurs with very high accuracy and can correct the mistakes <coughs> this slide shows the different eukaryotic dna polymerases polymerase alpha beta gamma delta and epsilon and their function alpha contains primase initiates dna synthesis beta is involved in repair gamma replicates mitochondrial dna <coughs> delta elongates leading strands and okazaki fragments and epsilon involved in repair the proof reading activity is related with pole gamma delta and epsilon now along with synthesizing dna dna has proof reading activity and uh, D- dna polymerase has proof reading activity and this is done by dp3 exact replication of dna is partly due to strict base pairing provision and partly due to proof reading property of dna polymerase 1 and 3 in 3 prime to 5 prime direction by hydrolyzing the wrong nucleotide to ensure replication accuracy dna polymerase 3 has in addition to its 5 prime to 3 prime polymerase activity a proof reading activity in 3 prime to 5 prime direction and acts as exonuclease as such nucleotide is added to this chain dp3 checks to make sure the added nucleotide is in fact correctly matched to the complementary base on the template and edits its mistake for example if the template base has adenine and the enzyme by mistake has introduced cytosine instead of thymine to the new chain dp3 then hydrolytically remove moves the mismatched nucleotide and replaces it with the correct nucleotide that is thymine <clears throat> now this slide shows how dna polymerase 3 can proceed in 5 prime to 3 prime direction for synthesizing or adding bases and can also move backwards in 3 prime to 5 prime direction with its exonuclease activity and it checks if any base is wrongly placed then it removes the wrong base and replaces it with the correct base and in this way it has the proof reading activity dna polymerase 1 also has the proof reading activity <clears throat> now activity is performed by dna polymerase dp3 proceeds and reads the single stranded template in 3 prime to 5 prime direction dp3 adds complementary deoxy ribonucleotides as per exposed bases on the template by establishing hydrogen bonds new dna strand is synthesized in 5 prime to 3 prime direction by making phosphodiester bonds between successive deoxy ribonucleotides dp3 requires rna primer with its free 3 oh group for adding deoxy ribonucleotides it cannot add uh, without the primer without the rna primer on leading strand only one rna primer is required and dna synthesis is continuous and is towards the replication fork 
On lagging strand, many RNA primers are required and DNA synthesis takes place away from the fork and is discontinuous. Many RNA-DNA stretches known as Sukazaki fragments are formed. DP1 adds deoxyribonucleotides to fill the gaps after removal of RNA primers by RNAs. Now this diagram shows how DP3 adds the bases in 5 prime to 3 prime direction but reads the template in 3 prime to 5 prime direction. Now as the two strands of DNA double helix run in opposite direction, so synthesis on, on two strands differ. Or on one of the strand, it is continuous and in 5 prime to 3 prime direction and from mouth to neck and it requires only one RNA primer in the beginning and this is known as leading strand. On other strand, it is discontinuous and takes place from neck to mouth in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. Two molecules of DP3 are required simultaneously because DNA synthesis on both the strand take place simultaneously. The uh, other strand is known as lagging strand and on this every time a RNA primer is needed onto the RNA primer DNA is added in 5 prime to 3 prime direction and thus these stretches are known as Okazaki fragments. This we will be able to see by the next slide. <clears throat> now this slide shows for DNA replication the two strands of the template separate and expose the bases. To the exposed bases DNA polymerase 3 adds the complementary base by making hydrogen bond and after that in between the two bases phosphodiester bond is established and a pyrophosphate is released. This is done by DNA polymerase 3. Now this slide again shows how DNA synthesis takes place in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. In this diagram red uh, shows new DNA synthesis and this takes place continuously on leading strand and discontinuously on lagging strand. Now this again shows that on leading strand only one RNA primer is required whereas on lagging strand every time RNA primer is required and onto RNA primer DNA are added these RNA DNA stretches are known as Okazaki fragments later on RNA primers are removed and DNA polymerase 1 adds the deoxyribonucleotides to fill the gap and then DNA ligase seals the two DNA fragments. In this way, DNA polymerase plays a very significant role in DNA replication. With this, the class is completed. Thank you.